what is Sister Cities International? Sister Cities International is a 56-year-old network of U.S. cities, communities, states that have um, partnerships around the world. And we were started by President Dwight Eisenhower back in 1956. And we consist of over 500 U.S. cities that have 2,000 partnerships in 136 countries. And I heard that every president from Eisenhower to Obama has served as the honorary chairman. Correct. Uh, why do you think this is? Why are presidents interested in, in this organization? Because it works. It actually works. And when you look back through time, I mean, the person that started it, President Eisenhower, he's a general. He had been through um, many conflicts. And now as President of the United States, he realized that the best way to prevent these conflicts was to get people to talk to each other, face-to-face, -face, regular citizens, so that certain stereotypes or animosities do not develop. And what are the benefits? So in addition to getting to know somebody internationally, what are kind of the cultural benefits and then maybe are there economic benefits? You can watch how this happened. Dwight Eisenhower started this after World War II. And he saw that we needed to really heal our relationships with Japan and Germany. And over time, I mean, Japan and Germany have grown and those relationships have evolved. It started off doing cultural exchanges so that people in the United States weren't necessarily fearful of people that were involved in previous wars. Mm -hmm. And so they did student exchanges, cultural exchanges. You learned how life was in certain cities in those, um, those countries. But then over time, it began to evolve into not just cultural exchanges and understanding, but to economic development. And in San Antonio, the very first Toyota manufacturing plant in the United States was built there. Well, there was a reason why. Mm. Toyota had, I mean, San Antonio had a long time relationship with their sister city in Japan. When you get to know someone, you trust them. And when you trust someone, then it's much easier to do business. How has digital media really impacted your efforts around grassroots diplomacy, especially in the past five years or so? Mm -hmm. Well, we have embraced it wholeheartedly. I will tell you that um, the digital media is actually, it's, it's the perfect complement to what we do because people can't travel abroad all the time. But you can talk to each other face to face. You can get, do Skype, you can, um, on the internet, Facebook, you can exchange messages back and forth. It's truly been a gift to us and our challenge is to maximize the potential. What is the most surprising thing you've learned while working here at Sister Cities International? I'm surprised by the strength of the connections. I mean, it's one thing you go abroad and you meet someone, yeah. This, what we can do with this network is truly amazing because those are long-term connections. Things happen, relationships evolve, but these cities, if they're serious about trade and international development, they utilize these sister cities networks and you will see the benefits grow exponentially.